Okay, in this video I just want to do a couple examples of writing rational expressions in lowest terms. And the idea is basically just to factor and cancel any common factors is, is what you try to do. So, uh, two examples here. So in the first one uh, we have x plus 2 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. All I'm going to try to do is just factor um, the, the, the denominator, the quadratic. So in the numerator we have x plus 2 and we don't have to but I'm going to put it in parentheses. It doesn't change it if we do that. In the denominator we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 so let's see, I'm going to make my two sets of parentheses. To get my x squared we need x and x and then again I think what two numbers multiply to positive 6 but add up to positive 5 and again, if I saw this on a homework or a quiz or a test, I would think, well, if they want me to cancel, there must be an x plus 2 somewhere on the bottom if anything is going to cancel. So that's kind of the first thing I think about. And well, okay, so positive 2 and positive 3, hey, that does multiply to 6 and add up to 5. So at this point, we can just cancel out the numerator with the x plus 2 factor in the denominator. Be careful, don't stick a 0 on top because that's not what, what's there. We could always write you know, 1 times what was on the numerator. Again, that doesn't change its value. So the moral of the story is there's still a 1 on top. Okay, and now we would say, hey, we've simplified this original expression. Okay, um, and in part b, let's do the same thing. So x squared plus 2x minus 15 over x squared plus x minus 12 so let's see, let's try to factor the numerator first. So again, I'm thinking two numbers that multiply to negative 15 but add up to positive 2. So to get a negative, I'm going to have to have a positive and a negative. And I think 3 and 5 will work. Since the middle term is positive, the bigger of 3 and 5 will have to be the positive, which means we'll need positive 3, excuse me, positive 5, and then we'll need negative 3. Okay, so if you multiply positive 5 and negative 3, we get negative 15, but when we add those together, we get positive 2. In the denominator, again, you know, at this point I'm thinking if things are going to cancel, there's either going to be an x plus 5 or an x minus 3 in the denominator. There's no way it will be x plus 5 because, you know, we don't use, uh, uh, you know, so, so it wouldn't be x plus 5 because I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 12. Well, 5 is not a factor of 12, so I'm thinking it probably has something to do with the x minus 3. And then I think, well, we would need a positive 4, so that when we multiply, we get negative 12. And hey, when we add them, we do get positive 1. So at this point, we can just cancel out the x minus 3 and the x minus 3, and we're left simply with x plus 5 over x plus 4. Um, <clears throat> one little remark that I think is important. The idea is, you know, suppose somebody wanted you to plug 22 into this, say, this very first original expression. Instead of plugging 22 into this original expression, we could plug simply 22 in the simplified version. So that's the idea. If you plug 22 into the, the first part, what do you get? I don't know. Well, if you look at the denominator, the, the bottom part, you would get 1 over 25. So much easier. Notice this formula is going to be valid for all x except, okay, certainly we can't use negative 3 because that makes the denominator 0, which is undefined. We also have to leave out negative 2 because notice if we plug negative 2 into the original rational expression, we would end up with a 0 in the denominator. If we plug negative 2 into the simplified expression, hey, we would have 1 over uh, 1. And so there's obviously a little disconnect there. So what I'm trying to say is you still have to keep the domain of the original expression in mind. Okay, so something important. And the same thing over here. This, we would say that this would be a simplified x plus 5 over x plus 4 would be a reduced form of the original rational expression. But again, if you try to substitute in values of x to evaluate, clearly we can't use negative 4 because that gives you 0 in the denominator. Okay, so, so it would be valid except for the numbers, well, 
x equals negative 4. It gives you 0 in the denominator. And again, also, uh, we couldn't use positive 3 either. It looks like you can at the end, but again, if you plug it in the original expression, you divide by 0, and that makes it undefined. So again, you have to keep the original domain in mind. Kind of something subtle, but something important. So uh, I hope it makes some sense, and I hope these examples help you out.